Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am talking about what equipment I used for my graphite and my charcoal drawings. So stay tuned. For this graphite drawing, I used the Fabier Castel graphite range. I really love this range. I've tried stuff by Durban and everything and I don't really find that it's as good as this. So I use from a 6H to a 8B and I find that using the whole range gives it depth, your drawing depth and definition. So I have bought these jumbo pencils which are a lot bigger than these pencils as you can see which are fab if you're doing big pieces and stuff because obviously these can take a while to build up and stuff so with the bigger pencils it's just better. So here's the three pencil kind of sizes what I use. I use these pit graphite, well pure graphite pencils as well which is basically just the lead of the wooden graphite pencils so they are really good and they're good because they've got like a plastic film coating on the outside so it stops you getting from graphite on your hands but yeah I absolutely love this range by Fabier Castel and yeah so big thumbs up for me for these for doing drawings and stuff so yeah so these are the two sharpeners what I use I find that the dough one gives you a sharper point on your pencil but this one doesn't actually break your pencils when you sharpen them um, and it's got three different holes. I think I paid about 350 or 375 for these, uh, this one, and then uh, this one was bought as a gift, so I'm not actually sure how much of these are, but when I checked online, I think they were about one pound something or two pounds, but they're definitely worth a buy, because the more quality um, sharpener which you get, I find that it tends to break your pencils less, which is a bow. So this one is a two hole sharpener, which this particular one is brilliant for these um, jumbo, jumbo pencils. As you can see, they're quite big, so it's perfect for the bigger pencils. Blending, I used to use this paper stump tool. This uh, drawing was actually from 2018, but I thought it was good, but I found it flattened the page down so you couldn't get much depth into your drawings so now I actually use my more current drawings this and it works fab for getting all of the lead and graphite into the two teeth of the uh, paper which gives it a more smooth and more professional look in my opinion so this is actually a land nickel brush and I think I paid a fiver for a pack of three and it is real uh, goat's hair, I think. But I find as well using this, opposed to the paper stump, you get a lot more details still in the picture. Whereas with the paper stump, it kind of makes like a blurry kind of look to your pictures and drawings. So I definitely recommend this, opposed to this. But these are a great kind of starter if you don't really want to use the brush. So when you're using this, obviously it can get really, really dirty. A, oh God, I don't know how to say this, em Emery, I think it's Emery board. So it's basically just sandpaper sheets of sandpaper. It's brilliant for cleaning off your paper stump. I haven't done it in ages, so it's quite dirty. But, so I've just had a go at it and you can see, literally I've just done it for two seconds, but, that was it before and that's it now obviously you can get it a lot cleaner than that so as you can see this way is quite messy and that is why I prefer to use uh, the brush opposed to the paper stump because it is quite messy cleaning it and stuff but yeah whatever floats your boat really um, so going back to Derwin this is a, a electric eraser what I use I think it's really, really good. Um, it requires two AA A batteries. So my favourite all-time needed rubber, what I use, is this one by Winsor & Newton. It's really, really good for getting 
white highlights like here and like these little like spots and imperfections in the face and stuff it is really good and you can really need it try and get the camera in focus yeah so you can really like need it and make it whatever shape you want it to be and i just think it's brilliant for getting your really really white highlights and removing bits of graphite and stuff so yeah this is a triple double thumbs up but here's a little bit about it this kneaded putty rubber is extremely useful for stripping, removing pencil, charcoal and pastel or just as a paper cleaner and it does that and more. I absolutely love it. It's my favourite so I'd definitely invest in one of these. So moving on to the charcoal. I used Derwent charcoal pencils and I have to say I absolutely love these pencils. I've used charcoal in the past and absolutely hated it. And I hate using it because you get like like charcoal all over your hands and it's really dirty and stuff. But with these pencils it made it an absolute pleasure. And when you buy them it comes in this really nice box. And then you get the pencils inside with a little sharpener and pencils. So they come in light, medium and dark. So I think you get two dark and yeah. So you get one light and too medium and too dark. I've used them quite a bit. So yeah, so this was my first proper charcoal drawing drawing and I absolutely love using these. They're a pleasure pleasure to use. And well I used them with the sharpener and they hardly broke. That was another thing with charcoal, I find it breaks really easy whereas these don't break. They do occasionally but obviously they don't break as much as normal charcoal. So yeah. Big thumbs up for these. Same as in the uh, graphite drawing, I found that this worked a treat with this. So you can use it on charcoal as well to get these really, really white sections. So yeah, this this was amazing for this. And also, well. I use this as well. So you can literally, with all the equipment, mix and change whatever medium you're using. So yeah, I found these was awesome also what i found was that the brush um this brush didn't work as well as the paper stump with charcoal which i thought was a bit crazy but yeah so i ended up binning off this for using the charcoal and sticking to the paper stump so it is handy to have both in your collection to mix and change or whatever so yeah so I hope this video was helpful for you guys to see what equipment I used and hopefully it helps your drawings as well. Um, so yeah, if you want to know anything else, you can always contact me on the Instagram uh, at FosterBrit. And also you can put comments in this video. I'll, I'll put every item I've used um, in the description. And yeah, so I hope you enjoyed One it. One last thing, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. Hopefully I'll be doing some more like it. So yeah, so thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Bye!